when I looked at and what was I going to open the season with, Shaw came to mind. Heartbreak House, one of his lesser produced plays, although his favorite play. It's a season of love and wonders, and there's lots of love and lots of heartbreak in Heartbreak House. So, a perfect fit. No welcoming hostess. No hot water. Our visitor is expected to sleep in the tool shed and wash in the duck pond. Now it's all Captain right Shotover is a lifelong pacifist. And he feels that there are forces of darkness there, but he doesn't believe in war. That these people are there to render all our aspirations barren prevents us from having the aspirations. It's a big show, it's complex. These characters are rich and they have a lot of layers to be discovered, a lot of talent on this stage. And just for a director, pure pleasure to have this opportunity. Hector is very good at knowing how to play and how to win games, but not quite capable of knowing how to live. Ellie is experiencing heartbreak for the first time. Um, and she's really exploring the roller coaster of love. Assigny, there are wonderful men out there. Men like Othello, only very handsome. <laughs> now we are coming to it. <laughs> I knew there was somebody, or you wouldn't have been so miserable about marrying Mangan. You'd have thought it quite a lark to marry him. Oh, Assigny, you're dreadful. Mm. It's a very humorous and somewhat tragic look at bearing your soul. I mean, I know him to talk to. But you want to know him ever so much more intimately, eh? I know him quite almost intimately. Hassani, Hushabai, is all about love. Real love, true love, deep love, fantasy love. Indeed, you shall do nothing of the sort. I shouldn't see you from breakfast to dinner. I want my husband. I might as well be your lapdog. Do you want to be a breadwinner like the other poor husbands? No, by thunder! What a damn creature a husband is. Well, I'm a woman of the world, Hector. And I can assure you that if you will only take the trouble always to do the perfectly correct thing and to say the perfectly correct thing. You can do just what you like. You are no bohemian woman and you are no puritan woman. You are a dangerous woman. No, on the contrary, I am a safe woman. My character is Lady Utterword. She holds kind of the rigid, conventional England, probably of the last century. But you'd better know how I feel if you're going to stay oh, here. You are an exceedingly clever lady killer, Hector, and terribly handsome. This has actually been a really unique experience for me. Um, it's a great show, it's a funny show, but it's just, it just, it's unlike any show I've ever worked on. <laughs> I'm sure, but you are a stranger to me. What might you be waiting here for now? Waiting for someone to show My name is Nurse Guinness. I've been with the family 42 years. I've raised the girls. One of them never left home, and the other one left home 26 years ago, or 28, I'm not sure. I have a secret, but I'm not telling. Mrs. Hushabai's father. I heard him roaring, but I thought it was for something else. What romantic ideas of business you have. Poor dear Mangan's not a bit like that. Poor dear Mangan indeed. Mazzini Dunn is an idealist whose life has been a long chain of disappointment, but he remains optimistic. I can never get him to show the slightest interest in the works. Do you mean to say that he isn't strong enough to crush poor little Ellie? Well, of course, it's difficult to say how any marriage will turn out. This team has been incredible to work with. And what I'm most excited about 
is that not only will you be surprised when you come in and see how the world of this play has been created by our designers, but there's a big surprise in store towards the end of the play. An adventurous life, but what does it end in? Our respectability. <laughs>